On this channel, we have discussed extensively how ride restraints work as well as the few things that have gone wrong with them. Inevitably, in the comments under every one of these videos is something along the lines of, I was on this ride and my restraint came unlocked, resulting in it moving up one click. Clearly, this is a fairly common thing to happen, but what exactly is happening? Before we go further, let's review the types of roller coaster restraints and how they work. There are two main types with many different subtypes beyond them. These are ratcheting restraints and hydraulic restraints. Ratcheting restraints are more common on older and simpler rides, though they are gaining popularity once again on newer rides. Hydraulic restraints are generally reserved for only the most intense rides, though both restraint types can be found on a variety of different rides and roller coasters. Ratcheting restraints work by having a mechanical ratchet that interlocks with several spring-loaded locking pins. The design of the ratchet allows the restraint to move further down into a more closed position, but it will not allow it to move into a more open position. This is due to the shape of the ratchet device, as when the pins are engaged they will physically block the ratchet device from moving. These restraints are unlocked by an outside force such as a mechanical bar or other system under the ride unit, moving the pins out of engagement with the ratchet device. These restraints can only lock in a fixed number of positions due to their design. These restraints are also known for making the iconic click sound when lowered. Another major design of ride restraint is the hydraulic restraint. These work by having a hydraulic solenoid with electrically controlled gates that allow fluid to flow in all directions when unlocked, but only allow it to flow in one direction when locked. These are actuated by an electrical signal and when unpowered, they default to a locked state. If you would like to learn more about how ride restraints work, check out this video. The situations where this experience is reported to have occurred are coming from rides with ratcheting restraints. As we discussed, these restraints have a set number of positions they can lock into determined by the location of the grooves on the ratchet device relative to the locking pins. This, in effect, means that many rides with these restraints only have between 6 to 12 different possible positions for their restraints. This means that if a rider's size falls between these settings, there will be some small amount of movement on the restraint. This is due to the locking pins not engaging with the lower ratchet and there being some room between the lower ratchet and the higher one. This can result in several inches of play in the restraints of some rides. This is very normal and expected behavior with this restraint type, but it does not explain why sometimes these restraints can seem to suddenly jump up a setting, making riders understandably think that their restraint temporarily unlocked. This situation can instead be explained by looking closely at the design of some ratcheting restraints. If a ratchet is lowered just past the peak of one ratchet, the pin may be partially engaged with the lower setting. When enough force is applied to the restraint, usually by ride forces, the pin may slip up to a higher setting. When this happens, the restraint pins remain locked, the device was simply never fully locked into that lower setting. This problem can become more prevalent when the restraint ratchets have debris inside of them or are not well lubricated. Regardless, when this occurs, it can result in a rider's restraint moving up several inches suddenly. This can understandably be scary, especially if you do not know what's going on. Hopefully this video helps explain that background so you are prepared if you ever experience this. Just remember that if the restraint is locked in that higher setting, the restraint never unlocked. Instead, it simply slipped a ratchet. It's also worth noting that this is most prone to occurring when ratcheting style restraints are adjusted to be really tight on a rider. Ratcheting restraints are making a comeback in the industry, and the newest designs are far less prone to this problem. For example, the Infinite Restraint from Infinite Restraint Systems is a ratchet-type device with exponentially more locking positions than a traditional device, and it features four locking pins. This results in slipped ratchets being less common, as well as the effects of them being much less noticeable, as the distance between locking points is much smaller. Regardless, this is still something to be aware of, and while it's not unsafe, it can still be very startling. Hopefully, if it ever happens to you or someone you know, you will now be able to explain what happened. If you'd like to learn more, check out my other videos on ride safety and design. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.